Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I am a 40 something year old mother of three. I work full time and my husband works full time. And together we work on debt and paying off bills and saving money as much as possible. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It is free and I would love to have you join us. I am gonna go over the week of November 5th to the 11th and um, basically reconcile everything that we paid for and talk about anything that I forgot to add in because this is my life and that's what happened. So uh, my husband did get paid his 850 and we did roll over 77 from the previous week which comes down to 927. Um, Edward Jones did come out for 50. Internet was 81. Just as a side note, uh, my next bill will be less because I decided to remove the landline part of it. Um, so they prorated, I guess. So my next bill will be different. And then the following one after that should be the normal bill. So January, should we, we should be in like a normal type of thing. So that's good. Um, dance, her normal tuition for dance is $90 a month. Uh, lunch, school lunches, school meals, which is also including breakfast is 60. We did not have any miscellaneous over what we had planned on. Um, I believe I could be wrong. I'll have to double check that. But as of right now, no, um, we did have to pay hundred dollars for my pass, my daughter's passport renewal. I completely, I thought I could have sworn that it was not expiring until like September of next year but I was wrong. So thankfully we caught that because my daughter goes to Europe this summer and we have to have everything in the system, I believe in April, so they can purchase the tickets and everything like that. So we went ahead and got that taken care of. That was $100. And then my daughter's dance music that's required for her re recital was $5, which I had also forgotten about that. So actually I should put this as a zero here, 100 and five. So all of these were correct as we expected. So I'm going to go ahead and total these up. So it comes out to $386. I want to double check that because I, I just want to make sure. Yes, 386. Okay, so then we take, oops, I forgot to put this part up here, 850, 77, 927. I've been off my game because I was in the office all week and I usually do this during my lunch break and I did not get to. So I'm just, I'm I'm befuddled at this point. It's crazy. You know when you lose your, your momentum, you're out of your normal, um, just out of your normal routine, you just get completely wonky. That's been my life this week. So, so we'll take the 927 minus the 386, which leaves us with $541. Um, his spending was 20, mine was 20. We did actually only spend 145 in groceries and then gas, I did make that $75 payment for that. Takeout was 50, miscellaneous was 50, and beauty was 30. So we will take and add up all these totals. So we have 20, 20, 20, which leaves us with $390 as a total for the week. So we saved ourselves $5. 541 minus 390 is 151. And we'll bring that up here. These all, oops. These were all correct for 295. So I'll subtract 295, which leaves us with a negative balance of 144. And that's okay because we always have a buffer in our account and then we make up for it when the next paycheck comes in. Um, so it really isn't something I get too concerned about. I don't like it obviously, but sometimes it just is what it is. Um, so we will roll over that 144. So starting for this week, this is the week of November 12th through the 18th. So my husband gets paid, which was 850. 
He did get overtime, but I will not be adding that into this income. The reason why is because we are putting that aside for our debt snowball. Um, but then I get paid 15, 66. I get paid uh, twice a month. And then our rollover was negative 144. So I'm gonna add all these up. Which leaves us with 22.72. And our bills coming out this month, or this week I mean, is our Amazon credit card payment is 153. City is actually only $63. I looked ahead of time before I, I did this. Normally I budget for I think 81, but it was less, so that was nice probably because last month we were gone for a whole week when we went to Florida. So I guess that makes a difference. Alliant is 122. I did find out that our budget billing is going to be going down quite a bit. And so next month's bill will be less than that. Um, it's every six months they check that. And so um, now we're gonna be paying for the gas that we used uh, about six months ago. So in the summertime, we barely ever use gas. It's, the gas would only be our stove and our water heater, so not our furnace. And then Mid-American Energy is our electrical company, and that is 132. And then school lunches is 60. So we'll add those values up. comes to $530. So we take 2272 minus 530, which comes out to 1742. I printed these sheets before I updated that we were going to increase our um, grocery budget. So these totals all um, add up to 395, so 1740, 1742 minus 395 comes out to 1347. Bring that up here. And these all total up to the 295. So subtract the 295, which is 1052. We are not going to put anything towards extra debt quite yet. We are planning on putting um, every, you know, as much of our extra leftover towards our snowball for the month. So, but we will roll over that 10.52 for next week, which leaves us with a zero base budget, which is what we always enjoy. So. That is that for this week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you'd like to. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already done that. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your ongoing support. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.